And until you understand and start thinking about those things, you can't think about how to advance your position because understanding those is basic. Positions are just stepping stones. All your position is, is where you're standing right now, and the only purpose of your position is to get you to someplace better. There's no such thing as a bad starting place because, you know, really bad starting places are really easy to improve. So, you know, it's the improvement that strategy is all about, even failure. And as we said, when you're working in a competitive environment, in a contested environment, you know, you're going to fail a lot of times. In sales and marketing, uh, especially, you know, you're, it's just statistical success. It isn't, you know, like baking a cake, where if I'm going to bake a cake, I'm going to get a cake out of that recipe 100% of the time. Well, the fact is, is that nothing in strategy says you're going to be successful 100% of the time. If you're successful 51% of the time, it's very good. And it, that really doesn't matter. All it means, all you're really looking for is to be more successful more of the time than the people that you're competing against and more successful more of the time than you were yesterday. If you're single, you think, gee, if I could only find somebody and fall in love and get married, my life would be perfect. <laughs> but, <laughs> as we all know, every new position, no matter how highly desired, comes with its own challenges. You can't think about, gee, this, is, this position is bad, this situation is bad, I'm unhappy, I'm unhappy. The way you think about your situation is, what opportunities does it give me to move forward? Where do I move forward? Why do I move forward? want to move forward there? And how can I use my situation to move forward? But go to the thing that you find the easiest, the side of the coin that works the best for you. Sometimes you'll work on trends of the future. Sometimes you'll work on systems. Sometimes you'll work on trying to find a better decision. But you switch off and you find the easiest path forward. You could advance your, your situation in any of those five areas that define your position. And the fact is you find the easiest way to advance, and you constantly look to advance. There has to be a process for advancing your system. And basically the process was developed 500 year, uh, 2,500 years ago, and we call this process listening, aiming, moving, and claiming. And as you see, they have a very specific relationship. Listening is getting information from the ground into the decision-making of the leader. Um, aim is the vision of the leader looking toward the future. Movement is acting on change and uh, developing and improving methods. And uh, finally, um, claiming is uh, using your systems to get value out of the ground. And you really need to know about progress from the game of tic-tac-toe. Uh, first of all, that you move to positions that have the most options. Um, in tic-tac-toe, you move to the corners of the center for only one reason, because on the corners in the center, you have three different directions you can go. Um, if you move to those little side pockets, you only have two directions you can go. If you move where there are more options, uh, you have more opportunities for winning. Secondly, you have to continually adjust to the moves of others. In other words, it's not like planning. It's not what you do that matters. It's how you react to other people. In tic-tac-toe, if, if you ignore what the other person does, you know, you move in a corner, he moves in a corner, well, okay, I want to do the center because there's more options. Well, you know, he's going to get, put you in a situation very quickly if, unless you react to his move where he's going to win. And finally, you have to instantly move into openings. In other words, if your opponent makes a mistake and leaves an opening for you, you have to move into it right away. You can't wait around because openings are only there for a limited amount of time. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Most people, unfortunately, think about progress kind of like that. They think, you know, that it's all linear. And I see this in the press all the time, and it drives me crazy. All they do is draw these straight lines. Everybody's always making these predictions and actually going crazy over these predictions, which are nothing but straight line predictions about what stuff happens. Well, what strategy teaches is that nothing is straight line. Progress in strategy means getting the best return on your investment. It means always worrying about the cost. And large corporations and stuff, they, they believe the most dangerous half-truth in all of business, which is that you must invest money to make money. That's a very, very dangerous half-truth. Yes, you must invest money to make money. You must invest time to make money. But the fact is, is you have to invest it in the right thing. You can spend any amount of money on things that don't work, and it's not going to make them work. Use your money to leverage your position in the environment. If you don't use your money and your time and your effort leveraging your position, you're basically wasting money. Victory is not getting what you want. It's getting what you want and making it pay. For him, it wasn't just winning the ground. It was winning the ground and getting productive use of the ground, either for your army or for just productive use in terms of farming it and planning it. Strategy is about, is about focus. Your success comes from choosing the right things not to invest in. 
And I emphasize the not. The salespeople that are the most successful are the ones that know how to quickly tell customers, no, that's not our business. This cycle of four steps relies one upon the other. Listening without aim is just curiosity. I mean, you can listen, but unless the idea is to develop a focus to understand what you should be doing and should not be doing, um, it's just curiosity. Um, aiming without moving is just dreaming. There are probably a million people that had Starbucks idea but didn't do it, um, and so on. But you have to move. Uh, but moving without claiming is just dancing. In other words, unless you can get value in terms of tangible dollars or some other improvement in your position, um, it doesn't matter what you do. So you have to do all four of these things in everything you do. An incomplete cycle is like building a 90% of a bridge. It doesn't take you anywhere. You know, every step must be fruitful. This is Winston Churchill. Um, yet there will be stretch, stretch out before you, ever lengthening and ever ascending, ever improving path. You know you'll never get to the end of the journey, but this, so far from discouraging, only adds to the jo joy and glory of the climb. I mean, that's basically what strategy is about. It's about this idea that no matter where you are, you want to be continually looking forward to advancing your position and moving it forward. That starts with listening, aiming, moving, and claiming. Um, however, this process isn't unguided. It's all about doing the calculations and the math. And as General Patton said, you know, taking a calculated risk is quite different from being rash. And you, once you start thinking about every situation that way, you see what's happening. You see how things naturally develop over time. Strength is just an accident arising from the weakness of others. All problems create opportunities. People run away or fight problems instead of using them. You want to learn about as many problems as possible during the listening stage. And you cannot solve every problem, but every problem is a potential opportunity for you. So when you're listening to people and you're out there collecting information about your market and so on, you're basically listening always for the opportunities, for the emptiness. You're seeing the fullness, but you're thinking about the emptiness that the fullness might create down the road. You're getting to this whole thing of sort of seeing the world from the strategic perspective of emptiness and fullness and problems creating opportunities and so on. But you're withholding judgment at this point. Opportunity is any need that you can fill. You think about opportunities as openings, as emptiness. You cannot create your own opportunities. The market has to create them for you, both in the small sense of each little sale, but also in the big sense of where you should take your company in terms of where your marketing efforts should be and where your sales efforts should be. Listening means getting a perspective on your situation, identifying the changes that create opportunities, seeing the world with a warrior mind, which is this idea of putting everything into the strategic framework and looking for opportunities. Um, what Sun Tzu said about listening is that know your enemy and know yourself. How many people have talked to their competitors? You have to know what your competitors are good at to know what you're good at. And we'll talk about that in a second because it's all about your position versus them. If you know yourself and you know your competitors, your victory will be painless. In other words, it won't be expensive. Um, you must act and not drift. Most people let themselves drift. In other words, they don't develop an aim, but even when they do develop an aim, they say, okay, I should do more of this. Um, and I should do stop doing this. Well, that this that they're supposed to stop doing, the phone rings, and it's like, well, I did it yesterday, I'll do it today. In other words, they continue to do what they've always done, and they continue to drift. That's not what I call the path of least resistance. That's the path of least decision. Only when you move do you really understand the situation. Only when you make commitments and actually try and undertake to do certain things do you find out what's really involved. What Sun Tzu says is that you move your men, but not into opposing forces. You advance where opponents can't defend. In other words, you go into situations basically trying to avoid conflict and trying to avoid problems by working around those problems. When you move, it's like when you're saying, I'm going down to the store. Very easy thing. I decide I'm going to the store. I need to buy something. I'm going to the store. Well, when I get on the road, I find out there's an accident down the road, and I can't get to that store. Basically, what the rules of movement are saying is that I still got to get to the store. What do I do? Do I find a different route? Do I wait in line? Do I turn around? What do I do? Well, actually, strategy gives you a set of rules that say there are only nine situations you can run into. And when you run into those nine situations, you do this. It's very simple and makes it very easy. It's very kind of satisfying in a way because you know you're making the right decision. Finally, claim to get rewarded. Rewards are not automatic. Just because you do something, just because you produce value for people, just because you solve a need, just because you do stuff, um, doesn't mean that you're going to get paid for it. You must know how to make your position valuable and how to get the most value out of it. And we're going to talk about that. And you must actively work to get rewarded for your position. Now, that's the end of part two. In the next part, we'll talk about how you aim, how you move, and how you make claims. Thank you. Much.